Good afternoon. Welcome to the Wellfleet Parking Task Force, the second <coughs> committee meeting of February 6, 2009. We're here at the Wellfleet Senior Center uh, and ready to do business. And we have one outside person, our chair of the Board of Select People. And uh, so with that, are there any announcements by the committee members? Seeing none, does, does the public have anything to say? Uh, I don't know if this is the appropriate time, but there is a, um, oh, that's right. Just, okay. um, there is a business uh, that will soon be applying to go into South Wellfleet General Store. And um, I know in the notes that we've talked about using that lot because it is a town-owned lot. So um, just to have a plan somewhat in place in the next month or two to say we are going to be using, you know, that the lot in front for town parking rather than that and that, they, you know, nothing specific, I don't think, but that they should be aware that there's something that might change okay. about their visibility. We were going to talk about that later okay. on the agenda, Good. so that specific Great. lot. While you're there, save you getting up again. Just one question. The uh, last selectman's meeting, select, per, select, select, board. <laughs> select board's meeting, there was, there's three electric spaces being put on the street, is that correct? Three electric? Uh, I, I think, um, I believe there are two in the back parking lot of Town Hall. Right. But then there was some evidence of a, they're putting three on Main Street. No, no. no. Okay. That is uh, like a booster, a, a generator to boost the uh, power because people on the um, other side of Old County Road and Old Chiquessa tend to lose electricity. Trotting Park, they lose electricity fairly often. And that's what that, okay. that is uh, boosting that. All right. So there's no, and the, the electric spaces will be out back there. Electric cars only? Is that what the sign will say? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Whether they follow that or not, but yes. Yeah. Okay. First item of business uh, is the meeting minutes, which Wayne drafted and uh, sent out a first draft. You have draft two, which was generated this afternoon. Uh, you can see what the, the, where any changes were. Uh, by the vertical lines on the side. Uh, I assume it comes through as light colored print, um, but really no, no material changes. Yeah, we I ran these by uh, John Ryerson and, uh, and Suzanne, and they didn't have any comments, so. I, I move that they be approved as written. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The uh, next item of business is the uh, business survey in, in our data collection and outreach section. The, the, the business survey, uh, Sheila has been working with the Chamber of Commerce on, and they have invited us to a meeting next Wednesday night on the 13th at 5.30 at the well. Uh, Sheila and I are planning to go. We are all invited. Um, and so I, I guess I'd like to have a count of noses so, so we can tell uh, the purposes so you can have a name tag as you walk in the door. Uh, otherwise, you can show up if you want. And if they make an extra name tag, sorry about that. Mm. So, so th th this is February 13th? February 13th at 5.30 at the well. I, I can be there. Okay. But Dale? Oh, yeah, but I, you're, I respond you're, in another way through the... Okay. Is there going to be food and booze? <laughs> okay. Joe, you yes. said yes. yes. I will not be there. Okay. I will be at the Celtics game. Ah, oh, okay. Priorities. Wayne? If you all want to join me in San Diego, I'd be glad to go, but oh. I'll, I'll, I'll be <laughs> okay. <places>. away. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Um, and uh, the the... The uh, survey that Sheila sent is what you have in your packet, uh, and 
if we can, I'd like to also in your packet on the final page uh, are the comments that we got back from the Chamber of Commerce. If you want a package, they're over there. Here's one. Yep, there you go. Oh, I see. So, uh, Sheila, what do you want to do from here? Okay, <clears throat> I think um, I, I really do need to read them again uh, to refresh my memory. I looked at them when we first received these, but I thought that some of these were good points um, and that we should take a look at what it is they're suggesting and what, what isn't stated in the survey um, or how could we make it more evident? How could we ask the question in a way that it's um, more specific to point out, you know, to, to address what it is that they're saying? So if you see in relation to the parking is the narrative, uh, they mentioned the, uh, in the narrative we are around the pier, <clears throat> but they don't mention the parking fees, you know, of the town pier. Well, we have to explain that that's a different survey in a sense, although it does involve the merchants there, and hopefully some of them will be at the meeting next week. The major problem seems to be in time. Uh, so, so these are things that are good points, but they're not part of the survey. These are things that, you know, like are they going to be stickers? Those are the details, the policy details that have to be worked out. We're really making recommendations. So um, I'd, I'd comment on the first one that uh, there are no parking fees at the town pier at this time. Right. So that's yet to come, and frankly, I doubt that we'd get it done in time for this summer. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the major problem seems to be about ten weeks in the summer. Yep, mm -hmm. that's right. Uh, would would uh, people with resident stickers be exempt from central parking fees? That's a decision to be made, I think. I mean, that's a possibility, and, and I think we would agree that that, that would be a good thing. Um, if a tourist has to pay to park in Provincetown and in Wellfleet, would they opt to go to Provincetown where the access means more stores? I don't think that really, if you want to come to Wellfleet, you're going to come to Wellfleet. I think that's right. So, um, would people try to park in other places like the Methodist Church, Masonic Lodge, well, those are going to be addressed within our parking survey eventually. These are just focusing on businesses so we can address that with them. Um, they may not be accessible in the way that they may be today. Um, would parking meters be in existence off season? We're not recommending that. And there's ways that you can shut them off, as we heard from at least one vendor that you don't, you know, you can kind of shut down the operation for the season, for the off season. Um, I think there's movement to storage, actually. This, right. Yeah. Right. And this would hurt some downtown businesses. Could would this? Could this? This could hurt downtown businesses. I would like to ask them in which way, and is where's the benefit in the you know if they feel that way. Um, what is their feeling on that? So that would be a good question to ask when we're there. So would they have to pay? These are all questions that are going to be coming to the parking committee. I mean, these are all the obvious questions yep. that are unknown in the survey. We're not there yet. But um, those are all the things that we'd have to deal with. Those are all the questions that we would look at, make our recommendations, and then the Board of Selectmen would have to weigh in on all of those things with the public. Do you think we could have a finalized survey to to present, yes. Present next I week. will. I promise I will do that, yeah. Because it, once I get into it, I can. If anybody's got any questions or, or wants to do something differently, uh, please let us know, uh, let Sheila know. Um, I think, you know, we, we went through this in detail before. You've had it. So if there are any questions you'd like to change, please so state. Otherwise, right. get to and if you do it. make your comments to me, I, I've included Denny on all my copies, so you can copy both of us, and I'll be happy to take those. Is your plan to circulate this manually, as we did with the mooring, or the, uh, or is are they got, do they have a survey capacity within their email system? Yes, they said that we would be happy to send it out once it's in its final 
they will assist us in any way they can in but getting do they, it out. Do they have like uh, constant con How do they keep? Yeah, they have a constant contact. So they can they, set up a survey. And right. So they could take this, put it out, and okay. give it to their members and give us the results. Good. The, the only comment I have there is that uh, there may be vendors who are not members of the chamber. Exactly. And we have to weed them out and try to get to them on our own, you okay. know, on, a, on an email, through the billing, or what have you. Just compare it to the business license list, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, this, yeah, compared to the business license okay. list, and, and this okay. is, these are just chamber uh, members. Now, I, like I, I and others on this are, are members of the chamber just as member, no, because you don't have business, but are they at least serving those people too or not? I guess it doesn't really matter. That we think matter. anybody who's on their member, but we can clarify that when we're with them next Wednesday. There but is a, a question on here that basically asks them what kind of business they're in. Yeah. So. You anyone. can just say you're a, you're a citizen. You're a member by citizenship. Yeah, maybe you know other specifiers. Just put in a thing that just. Uh... I have a I have a comment on all these surveys. I hope there's going to be some effort to at least have some degree of after the fact statistical validity. If you don't have that, the surveys have no more meaning than anecdotal information. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, the questions aside, there's a way to do those, and I'm not a professional survey person, but we ought to know, A, what was the total population that could have been surveyed, how many surveys were sent, how many surveys came back. Right. Because if you don't have that, they don't really have a whole lot of meaning. Yeah. Uh, it's an enormous number with the uh, parking beach parking permit holders. Um, well, that's and if, lesser if, numbers, but the I think the final thing would be to perhaps enhance the worth of these would be to make sure there's an open-ended question, as I see there are on, on on them, and find out who really has an intense interest and some really good comments, and if you if they're willing to identify themselves, consider having them in. I, would hate to use the word focus group, but but get get the get input from the people who have given it some thought and have a real interest, and talk with them directly uh, when the, after they've made these suggestions. I too question the validity issue. Um, my understanding is that there's quite a few businesses that do not belong to the chamber, mm -hmm. and it would seem in order for this to be a valid survey that. Uh, those non-members should participate as well. And perhaps we should talk about uh, how we reach them if that's going to be a goal. Well, we have the uh, list of, uh, of business licenses. hundred and, and, yeah. And, and it's not beyond the realm of just comparing the list with who, to whom the chamber sends the surveys and get to those other people. Mm -hmm. So, and that's that was my comment earlier that we really need to do that. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, as, as far as the, validating the mooring and and uh, slips, you know, we sent we sent out what 450 or actually more because, you know, I'm just on the waiting list and it was included in that too. So some people may respond. I'm not sure if they're trailer people or not trailer to their boats as opposed to waiting for a slip. Um, and then on the, which we'll get into later, the, the more in-depth one for uh, the permits, if all goes well, that will be automated and our validation is we're asking for their sticker number. Now I asked Suzanne, I haven't heard back, whether when they get the stickers printed. Wayne, so, Wayne yeah. can, can we say wait, that? Wait till then, okay, yeah, get all right. That. So I'd like to get through this one all first. Right. Any other comments on the business survey? Uh, on Dale, as far as who's interested on all of these, I think we've tried to say that give us your name uh, and it made it optional. Yep. Um, I don't think we want to go mandatory. If somebody doesn't want to give us their name, there's, that's their decision. So, Do you want to put a line in, preferred time to call, if we put a telephone line number? You know, days or nights or days. I don't, I don't see us calling many people unless... We can't read things or something, I guess. Email number would probably be better. Yeah, e email's on there. Email's on there, yeah. yeah. So why don't, why don't we take off telephone then? Okay. 
And do you, do you want to put on this one also uh, from, well, you have this thing for firmer commentary, but some reference to if you want to send us something in more detail, they can email our um, address at town mm -hmm. hall. Okay. Yep, good point. So this is basically one co one page cover letter and uh, two pages of survey. It shouldn't take them very long. Right. Uh, and uh, we're putting the onus on them to get it back to us uh, rather than going electronic. So just just to do that. I could compile that list of uh, non chamber businesses if you like. Okay. Go down to town hall and get that list. You we have it. You have it. Yeah. You have it. Yeah. Have we it. got. We yep. got it from Jeannie. Okay. Yeah. okay. <coughs> I can resend it to you if you want. I'm sure I have it. Okay. Just a question in regards to this meeting with the chamber. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's typically. I've only been to one, but it's usually just more of a social meet and greet. Um, are they anticipating having an opportunity for someone from the board to speak and then have question and answer, or is it more just mingle and? Pick up what you can. I, I have the impression from Laura that she's going to give us a few minutes just to discuss, you know, like a five minute, and if it runs into more than that, that's up to them um, on how much they want to do, or they can, we can invite them here to continue the discussion or write to us in, in further discussion. Yeah, and it'd probably be a good idea to have us members introduce so people who, who are there can see who's yep. on, 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 on the uh, committee. And I, I, I think we should formally invite them at, when we're at that yes. to, to come to us uh, because uh, I, I sense from some other discussions that they felt like they got left out. So and we certainly never intended that. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, we've tried to stay open and be available and have all these things on, on, the, on the internet, so I hope they come. So. Well, in, in some ways, we've really been dealing with the beach situation and had people um, here to discuss those points more specifically, so it is time for, so we'll explain that as well. Okay. I don't, do we need to approve this survey at this time? Or leave it with you for now. And I'm, Whatever, I'm happy to do to the will that. of the board. I just <laughs> I, I recommend we approve it subject to the changes that the board, the the uh, chamber suggested, or incorporating whatever we can to answer their questions. Okay, that was a motion. Second. Thank yep. you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. None. Good. All right. All right. I'll get that up before we go. All right. Um, the next is the uh, Harbor Master Survey, and you've got that in your packet. Uh, Joe, you want to update people on where we are and all that? This is the um, final version that the committee approved. And per the plan, um, it is going out this week with all holders of a lease <coughs> or a mooring or a uh, slip being um, included in the envelopes. I was at the Harbor Master's office yesterday and they were um, busy preparing them. So uh, everybody will get one. Then um, uh, we will um, tabulate them when they come in. Anything else on that? Otherwise we'll just keep on moving here. Mm -hmm. The uh, beach permit holders, uh, you've got the latest version of that that Wayne has been working on, and I occasionally have input to him, but Wayne, you want to kind of take us through that? Yeah, this is, uh, it, I guess the intent would be to try to use some kind of a survey system. Uh, constant contact seems to be, either that or SurveyMonkey seems to be the best. That way we uh, don't have to manually tabulate much. Um, this will change. Uh, I think when in a final form, I don't know if you want to go through question by question or just comment anything you may have. Um, I believe it can be set up. I didn't do it this way, but 
if, you're, if there's a question that you answer no and don't need to answer the next question, there's a way to set it up so that it doesn't ask you that next question. But that's about the only change I would recommend. And as I started to mention, uh, we were worried here about, you know, maybe stuffing the ballot box a little bit, so we asked for your permit number. I think the problem with that might be, but not that it shouldn't be too big a problem, is I think the numbers go 1 to X for each type of permit. And I'd asked uh, Suzanne and when they ordered them whether they could just put a letter in front of each one, you know, R is resident or whatever, but I don't know if that's been successful or not. So, so we may have some duplications on the permit numbers if, if they fill it in. I'd, I'd bring that question three right up front uh, to make that the number one question so that... Oh, the, all right, yeah, okay. I mean, that's something we want from everybody for sure. Yeah, if you're not going to give it, no sense filling out the survey. Yeah, okay. uh, and the other co comment I have is I really wonder the logistics of this survey. Uh, I don't know that uh, having an Internet survey is going to be that helpful. Uh, in terms of response. And I'm more concerned about the people responding than I am doing the effort of trying to analyze it. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, I guess I, my thought was that it, the, it would be handed, or the link to the site and a brief explanation of it would be handed to them when they buy their sticker. Two, two points. Yep. And I can do this, I can forget in the first three steps Okay. To uh, to do that, uh, and and not have a desire to do it because I've already got my permit. Right. And number two point is that a lot of the people who come here, although fewer and fewer all the time, may not have internet access. Right. So I I don't know. Okay. Any what, other what comments would you on that? Do you want it manual then? Well, I, I fear that. Or mail it in. Uh, who fill it out at the place or something? I don't, I don't know. Who is this going out to? In other words, what's the intent? Is anyone that buys a sticker, regardless of what kind it is, is handed either a way to Thank go you. on the web to do it or handed it manually to fill out? Yeah. So I optional. have a question on the substance, but not on on yours. So I'll wait yeah. till you go get ahead. done there. My my well, substance. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's sort of a different question that's... That well, how do, how do people feel about the, uh, the logistics, as I call them? Please. Could we... Um, could this be uh, shortened and condensed and go out with taxes, tax bills? Ooh. Mm. Well, that, then you only get the residents. And the yeah, but you get a... So we could... But you would, you would get a lot more responses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you could also get the other people, because if you're talking about um, handing them out when you get your beach sticker, right. that doesn't even start until July. Right. You know, you're, you're talking about two months of people. Yeah, I mean. Possibly. It's, it's a small percentage, whereas a resident yeah. will get this. And they'll, they could even send it back in when they send in their check and registration to get a ticket through the mail or something, what is it, a May, sticker. May 1st is the next payment, too? Ye, yeah, that's something like that yeah, goes a, out in April, I think. So um, it would really have to be condensed. And at this point, nobody else is asking for an insert. So we could kind of, you know, there's a weight amount, but we could probably have a folded piece of paper. So if it's, maybe we could just walk through that and make an abbreviated one for the tax. Yeah, smaller print. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could do Not that double too. spaced. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can do that. But uh, is, uh, <clears throat> will you have time to approve that? Yeah. I, yeah. Board oh yeah. I board I approve board. everything really quickly. <laughs> no, I mean the <laughs> that board. I like. Hmm? The board, yeah. I believe, has to give approval to yeah. things included with the tax. Like, right? all you've got to do is yeah. take this, uh, you know, know, bigger I mean, I margins, know one, it. two, three, and the, you, no, 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 no. I mean, yeah. that's not my question. Yeah. Yes, we could, yes, no problem. The board has, has to approve it before the it can take place. Yeah, so we have two months. Um, but then you have to get it printed and then get it in, in the, uh, tax, the tax bills, so. Ta tax bills will go out. So it should go out April 1-ish? About that, yeah, yeah. 
So let me work on modifying it. I'll do a red line and delete, delete what, because you don't need question three anymore because they won't have a permit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, so I guess is there anything else people don't care about? I think, you know, we, I mean, what we're trying to find out is where they park and why they park and when. Yeah, see if you can get it down to one page ah. and then that ha that be folded. Do, do you think many of the, I guess a lot of the residents use the funk bus, right? It's not just paid people. Use the what? Funk bus. Based, although based on the numbers that, that Suzanne gave us for daily use of Whitecrest Beach, it's only through 2016, 17 and 18, they didn't do it. And we're trying to find a way to use the bank account to figure that out. But um, the numbers look like it's all pay people. I mean, just the, some of the days is, you know, it's yeah. only 300 spaces there. And some days is, you know, yeah. Yeah, one and a half percent turnover. So. So I don't go to Whitecrest, but I know in the last two years, many people didn't go to Whitecrest because there wasn't a good bar. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but don't they go not, there? Not that kind of bar. bar. <laughs> San, a good sandbar. Yes, just down a the street. A good sandbar. <laughs> or, you know, if there's Hmong. Building up now. You With know, Peter. if there's Hmong in certain places, then there's no parking problem. Or, or some of us would be dead going up and down that dune. I mean, yeah. so yeah, much so can change on the beaches. <laughs> Hmong, flies, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. sharks, so. yeah. sandbar. Well, all right, rather than me sending out a red, can we quickly just go through what think, people think are important to include an abbreviated version of this? Yeah, I mean, I have a suggestion on that. I wanted to, yep, I did But, uh, I, I mean, We've discussed the, the beaches a lot, and we've discussed Cahoon, and that seems to be working quite well. Uh, uh, Whitecrest is what, 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 what Whitecrest is. I haven't heard a peep about Lacan, and so it all comes down to Newcomb. And, and my question, my number one question on any form is going out to users of, 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 the, of the beaches, is very simple, is would you prefer the current system of waiting in line, or would you want a shuttle system where you couldn't wait in line? And that, that's, to me, the essential question of, every, of any beach here, because the other three, it seems to be really not much of an issue, at least I haven't heard it, but, but it's, it's, it's Newcomb and the shuttle versus, part, versus waiting in line. And that would be my very first first question. Well, we've got because something. that would certainly catch users of of uh, It would grab them. Well, we've got a question sort of like that. Question, oh, but that's, that's question nine. I'm still puzzled as to what it is we're trying to find out from this. We're trying to find like out if there's enough demand to warrant part of what, would, in my mind. If there's enough demand to warrant the expense of expanding a lot or having a satellite lot so that it will pay for itself. Well, then that should be the question. I think, yeah, I think it's really it be a way to the way. But see, until we know when, whether people use it or not, we can't determine. Because it looks to me, and I haven't done an in-depth analysis because I don't have the last two years yet, that Whitecrest is primarily used and according to the lifeguards that I talked to, there's no one there basically during the week and very few people on weekends. They all find a way to get to Lacount, I mean to Coon Hall from there. So I think all we're satisfying is the dailies there, not the residents very often, or as many residents as everyone thinks we are, at least on the peak days. Right, but if the residents wanted to go there, they would. They can, they right. Yeah, they can go to either lot. So I'm, I'm just trying to build up information for a town meeting when and if this results in requesting additional funds to do something that you can prove that it's going to pay for itself, be revenue neutral, and maybe make a little money. Maybe if we pose in the beginning that, you know, because of erosion and shrinking parking lots as we go along, um, there has been lines where there wasn't lines 15 years ago. Right, now oh, we have my lines. goodness, Sheila. There have been lines there since 1982, the okay, first well, day I arrived in this town. Pardon me. I, I just didn't experience them. I, maybe I just caught it the right time. But I, I just... remember l l lugging my infants. Okay. <laughs> but, I stand corrected. However, um, 
But if we said that the ultimate thing is, in, if not now, in time, I mean, do you see this as a viable solution? I mean, to put what the intent is, do we, do we see a trend happening where um, planning, even if we don't do it this year or next year, but planning for a satellite system may be warranted. It, it, that's really what we're looking at. And we're, if you've been reading the paper, we're not the only ones that are now beginning to look at this. Brewster right. is taking up this question, and there was another town that just, um, Dennis. I, Dennis is well, looking I mean, at the like question. The, the question would be if, if, A, are you in support of you know, increasing the parking at White, I mean, if we increase the parking in Whitecrest, are you going to park there to go to Newcomb? Right. I mean, yeah, I think because well, we well, don't want to make a bigger parking lot at Whitecrest just so right. people because that's going to be a hassle. We're in busy itself enough as because it is. there's a lot you know, of things you have to go I'm through. Saying, like if, if we increase Whitecrest by thirty percent, it doesn't make any. It's, if it doesn't help out Newcombs and it doesn't help out LeCounts, then what's the point? Right. We've got to get the residents to park there. If, if it still would be up to a funk bus or something to get them there. Well, it would, yeah, it would be a right. town That, that would be bus. the satellite. Yeah. Well, I wasn't yeah. at the last meeting, but I note from the, from the minutes that uh, John Ryerson pointed out that the only the difference between weekends and weekdays is that they fill up earlier the parking lots, all the ocean lots. On a good day, yeah. Yeah, on good weather days. Right. Fills up at nine or ten. It isn't as if they're empty during the week. Well, I think you'll once we analyze these numbers, I think you're going to find Whitecrest isn't that full during the week. I would tend to agree, knowing. So what why I add three hundred spaces for two days a week? Find find another alternative. Yeah. What what John is it? John that said John. last week or last month? Last month, the time we met was when the weather's really good, Whitecrest fill, fills up. Right. That was, that was his comment. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't use white, 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 white crush. You might know better. Yeah. And if I can just add, I think that some of the <coughs> lack of or the availability of spaces last year had to do with the fee. I think a lot of people said, screw this. I'm not paying that. Well, <laughs> and moved <Yeah>. on. <laughs> so, uh, which somehow I predicted. But... Um, but I do, I do think that, you know, if it had been increased $5 or something, people would have continued well, to park. I mean, they it would did have end understood. up getting increased $10, and yeah. it didn't stop people from coming. So. Right, yeah. But, the tw but $20 was a, $20 was a was very, egregious. whether it was justified or not, it was a, it was a steep jump. Have you ever jump. considered increasing your fees to, say, 25 or 30 or? We've considered it, but. Yeah, haven't done it yet, no. Well, the other thing is the National Seashore is just down the road charging 20 bucks. Right. So, but anyway, back, back to my original point on the, 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 I did read the, the number nine. What number nine here is, is doesn't make clear at all is that if there's a shuttle, there's not a line. If you what? You can't have a, if, there, if there's a shuttle, in other words, once Newcomb fills up, you have to take a bus someplace. You can't have a line because that wouldn't you know, no. you can't, it'd be treacherous. Bad enough now, I guess, but be be be, be treacherous. Or what a, a reader of number nine is not clear. It's not. It's just not in there. That it's not just a shuttle. It's a shuttle in lieu of a line. And that's. I think that's really the essential. At least maybe, maybe I'm just too what, what I think. pick headed on this issue. That seems to me the essential issue of beaches is, is, is there going to be a shuttle to Newcomb or not? And I, I think, think if, that, if that, unless I'm wrong, that, and that, that in my mind should be the first, first question. I think, I think we should be accommodating the taxpayers first as far as on the busy days. So maybe on the busy days you just satellite parking only for the pay people. Well, what happens now is the police, when they get a call, they go out there and, and stop the line from going beyond certain points. Right. Uh, right. There yeah. is there is a point at LeCount and there is a point at Newcombs. And yeah, I don't uh, think there's any point at uh, Whitecrest. Is they don't allow a line, right? I don't believe it. Just all. the line that but forms. But what's going to happen every, here, as a here. user of that beach? I mean, I I, I couldn't go anymore. This is, I mean, grow every day for for years and years and years, every day. But you go to Newcomb. Is at that Newcomb every yeah. day? 
you know, 40, 50 times a year, yeah. more. That it is that if, if, if you have a shuttle there and you say you can't wait in line, that, that lot now fills up about 11, 10, 10, 30, that 9 o'clock, that lot will be full. I don't, I, don't, full. I don't think we're talking about no line there. I think we're just talking about no line at Whitecrest. No, no. There isn't a line at no. Whitecrest. No, there isn't a line at Whitecrest. Yeah, no, I'm just don't, don't, yeah. No, I, 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 if, I if the parking lot what, is, is full it, and I want to go to the beach and I'm a visitor, I'll go to the shuttle. I'll go to this parking space where I park, where, you, where there's parking and I get on that bus and I'll, I'll, I'll bring my stuff. And, um, you know, if I'm bringing baby carriages and every, you know, cribs, which, you know, has been done, um, people have to understand that that is a possibility. I think that once you, people realize that we may have to lug this stuff onto a bus and back, so we're going to condense our, um, you know, the things that we, our house that we're bringing to the beach. <laughs> and, um, you know, so I think that it's, it is an alternative. Once the beach is full, is there, it's, it's something to give people to be able to get, have access to the beach and it's not that far away, and you know I've paid my either my sticker or I'm paying there to do that right there. Um, I think that's when a shuttle would be utilized when the beach is full. And if the beaches are getting full at 9:30, 10 o'clock in the morning, now and now they're going to try to get there so they don't have to deal with a shuttle. So be it. At least there's another alternative to help people enjoy the beach. Right, but that alternative is in lieu of a line. Right. Right. So it's. But a line can be, you know, a safety hazard after a while. I mean, what I, if there's? I was what thinking if the shuttle would only be if, it, yeah, if it's full, full, I guess. Yeah. And but Joe, but, every day. But, yeah. but if you have a if you have a satellite lot, assuming we pay eighty-five to ninety dollars an hour for a shuttle, you need to park a minimum of twenty-four cars a day to break even at thirty bucks. Joe, um, perhaps we can anticipate some things. In talking to Will and other very frequent users of Newcomb Hollow, they describe a daily situation when there's a line of the vehicles being loaded up with everything but the kitchen sink. And I can't imagine that those folks are going to say, yes, I'll happily take a shuttle bus when their routine forever has been to load up all the gear and the kids in the car and take that and and that and all of that is not going to go on a shuttle bus. I think that's been what they've been accustomed to doing for a long time. And I, I can't imagine they're voluntarily wanting to go on a shuttle bus. But if it was the only alternative, if they want to get to the beach well, and if you no shut parking. down the line and you offer them a shuttle bus, then perhaps right. they'd be inclined to do it right. in lieu of going home. Yeah. And, and also, there's, yeah. um, there is a, you know, a, it would make people actually think about, you know, what is it that we're bringing and what is necessary and not necessary, and it might even help them instead of lugging all that stuff up and down a dune, never mind, you know, across. The, so. the issue of that Wayne raised of prioritizing um, full-time residents, I think, is um, is a global issue. Affecting uh, I'm not sure it'd be all full, the beaches, full-time as part as well as part-time, just residents. Yeah, right. Yeah, Tax I'm still payers. discussing the survey. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's. I was just going to say. I just want to get back to the survey right. because we were off track. Because it shouldn't. The, the whole purpose is to say how do people. I mean, Sheila and I disagree <laughs> fine you know but it'd be nice I mean that's because that's really the issue here so we should hit it with number one you almost don't need any other question on this except for number one that would be if I were answering I'd go no and I'd send I'd send the survey back I said I, I don't want a shuttle no way because yeah just so, just so you understand you got this long road that goes down to it so you don't find till you get to, to the bottom of it then what's going to happen is that they say, well, let me let my stuff out there. Let me, let me go to the end, which they do, which, you know, and let the stuff out. And then people come, and so they'll go and they'll park and let out their 
the boogie boards and surfboards and whatnot. And then people will start coming up the dune. And they say, gee, I can just follow them. And then someone else is going to come, you know, and they're going to, you're going to have fights over parking spaces. You know, and, 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 and since 1982, I have never seen a crossword in a parking space. Never, not once since 1982. No. I guarantee you on day one, you're going to have a, a real, you got people fighting for a spot. Did, so. you, did you say that the, if I am waiting in line yeah. and I elect to drop off my people with their toys, did, that they'll let you do that? I thought no, they would well, not. Well, most people, they, they, they just wait, <coughs> wait, 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 wait in line. Right. Now, I had suggested last week to John that we move the shack back and maybe that would appease some of the people. And then the driver would only be one taking the shuttle. But. Well, okay, so let's imagine this scenario. So you're coming to Newcomb Hollow, and right there at the top of uh, Gross Hill, it says parking lot full. Wait, wait, wait. Parking lot is full. However, it doesn't mean that there's a line, because everybody now knows it's full, but you can go down, drop your stuff off, the driver, now maybe it's just the driver and he can't do that, he doesn't have that operator, but I don't think he's going to be carrying as much stuff. So if it's a family, you drop your family off, and then you drive to the parking lot, park your car, and get on the shuttle. And then you can come at the end of the day and swing around and your family's there, ready to go, and you can go pick them up. I mean, one way or the other, you're allowing, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand that story? I do. Do you get that, Will? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to shut up. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just, just giving, saying. That you, 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 instead of I letting believe, a line I, in form. In my humble opinion, you are creating a nightmare. Regarding the beaches, there's nightmare no problem at the the shuttle. White Crest right. is working. It's, it's Cahoon Newcomb. Hollow with, with Mark and, and the Beachcomber guys at the top of the hill is working. It seems to me like, from what I'm hearing anecdotally about Newcomb's, Newcomb's is working the way it is right now. So... And that's what are we the doing? Question, what, what that's are we, what I think what if are you we want, trying to fix? That, we're trying to accommodate the people. Well, you, that, who, figure, what people, though? I mean, no, who's complaining? That's, what, that's what the purpose of the survey. How many people don't go to the beach because there's no parking? How much demand is, is pent-up demand is there? Right. And at what beaches? That's and what I was may, attempting and, to and do. Will, and we may find out that Will is absolutely right, and I will... I, I don't see a yeah. shuttle working I, I mean, I'm not, for Newcomb's Hollow. I don't have a big horse in this. Unless you stop people allowing to queue up because how's the absolutely. bus going to get down oh, the street? absolutely. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If, if I could pick up on what, what Wayne said, um, I think one of the things we've learned is that um, um, it, it appears that people who cannot get into Newcomb <clears throat> do not choose to go to the count. They choose to wait in line. Or Whitecrest. Or, or white crest. We've we've heard that LeCount usually uh, is is never filled except on a busy weekend. So those those people who are waiting in line at Newcomb choose to wait uh, and not to take an alternative. Isn't that an answer to their thoughts if we surveyed them? And well, <clears throat> my understanding is they'll wait in line an hour to get in there. Is sure. that correct? Oh, Will does, right? You wait around. I, I sit and read the New York Times. And, and we're getting off on the survey part, but let me just say one more. A lot of times last year, I went when I, when I finally got to the booth, I said to the a agent, you know, the, the, the young person there or sometimes you know, a little older, I said, How, what's the mood of people when they, when they get down here? Are they in a sour mood? Are they okay? And she said, oh, I'm in a great mood. I think that will is. Be, I, I think that reasoning behind that is, they've resigned themselves to wait. Right. The people that would be mad at waiting so long, but didn't bother to wait. Right. But if I have to wait a half an hour, and I'm the driver of that car, I would rather wait a half an hour in line and take than, the shuttle. Then drive, drive up, let everyone out, and then drive, drive a few minutes down the road, wait, wait for a shuttle, yep. and however that let's say that's 15 minutes, and then going, going back when four o'clock when everyone comes off the beach so and the bus only holds 14 back to the that's <laughs> right and so all of a sudden sure that is. hour back or a half hour is going to look survey. real good sitting in line rather than waiting an hour both ways if you add up going and coming on a shuttle back to the right. survey so, and that issue of validity um it, it seems that 
we need to tap into that great number of people who are renting for a week or two who get stickers. Um, I don't know how we reach them. I, I, didn't, I don't think it's realistic to have them fill this out mm -hmm. after they've waited in line at the sticker office well, with their Maybe wife. you have them fill it out while they wait in line. Yes, we could be there at 6 o'clock in the morning and, and meet all those people as they're lined up with their coffee to, to get the first in yeah. there, and we could go along and ask yes, them. We can serve coffee. Half of the permits may not even get issued until August right. when people right. show up in August and right. get their three-day, five-day, two-week. I mean, so are we going to tap into those people if they're there, not buying their stickers until August 5th? The, some of the point of us asking these questions is that even though it may not be um, a taxing issue now, uh, all indications are it's going to become worse. worse. Can't stop the tide. So... This is sort of valuable information. It may not be put into place now, but we understand that this is something that is palatable to um, the residents who live here and to those who visit here. And if I was here for five days and I had to spend an hour and a half of every one of my days, and sometimes I don't want to be at the beach the whole day. I only want to go down for two hours with my family because then we're going to go and we're going to go hike along Great Island or we're going to go um, oh. kayaking later on in the afternoon. It's not everybody is there for the duration. They want to be able to just go in for a couple of hours, swim, enjoy it, and then do something else. And if I have to spend an hour and a half waiting for my three hours, it's not feeling good. It's not feeling good to me. Dale? <laughs> This is directly about the survey. Like once it, would, it would seem that it significant <laughs> numbers of the group here have already concluded what the problems are. I don't think this survey is going to have any statistical validity or identify anything that we don't already know. And I would be interested in having a vote on whether it's even worth the considerable time it's going to take to do this. Not only ours, but the people who might make the effort to fill it out. And, and I would, you know, as I'm listening to this, I, I would like to learn something from any question that we ask. Okay. Uh, and so with that in mind, I, I, there are some things, maybe they're okay. Uh, and I understand Will's comment about the one and only question, but any others? No, I, I agree, we'll, 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 we should send it out. I firm, I, I, if I'm full of it, I'd like to know. Well, let Here me we just go. go through how, how worthless this will actually be. <laughs> we already know what kind of parking permits are purchased in each and every category. So that would mean that we have to know how many resident beach parking permits are returned, questionnaires are returned for each of these categories to know whether there's any validity or not. That's why we ask the questions, so we know what type of permit they have and how they how they. Okay, do you know what the numbers would be? As far as what? How many resident beach parking permit responses to this survey are you do you need to make it? More I don't know. Thing? I'd just like to have as many as possible. Well, you have to have a statistical significance. Know, so if you send I out a thousand, a certain percentage has to come back to make it a valid I agree survey. With you, but unless so, I ask and if we don't get that, then we can just say these are the results we have, although they are below the, um, you know, the required to really make this a valid thing. But at least we got something. Right. And if people like, don't care, I'm sorry. Sheila, if people don't care. Yeah. I would like to move that we not send this particular survey out. Mm -hmm. The others are far more reasonable and limited, but I think it would be a, an enormous waste of time for us, whoever might be doing this, and also for the people who would be filling it out. So I have so moved. Okay. I second. Okay. Further discussion? Uh, would you anticipate any sort of survey like this, Dale? Or? Well, I'm prepared to vote on this motion, and then if somebody else has another one. No, but I, I just want to make sure. Make my vote. Well, it's pointless to send out a survey like this when obviously a number, if not the majority, have already made a number of conclusions about what the problems are or are not. 
So what are we going to learn from this? No. I, I don't think anything. It's just a massive amount of information signifying absolutely nothing unless you want to have a professional survey person come in, study the questions, many of which are probably not statistically suitable. Uh, so yeah, if somebody wants to come up with a better idea, uh, if the question is shuttle or no shuttle, then that would be a question. Yeah. And I mean, because I think if that came back, if that came back 50-50, we're no bit better off. But when if it came back, you know, 90-10, I mean, that, that would tell us something, I would hope, even without a scientist say, pay, paying some surveyor, you know, $5,000 to, 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 to conduct some scientific this and that. If, if there's such a lopsided return, well, Damn. that says what, something to me at least. What about a question that just asks whether or not they support uh, an attempt to make White Crest bigger so there is more parking on the beach? And how are you going to go to town meeting and suggest you make White Crest Beach bigger unless you know how much more money you can make by demand. You, can, oh. can't, you have no statistics saying we surveyed people and you know 400 of the residents can't get there when they want to. So, so by asking actually just one or two questions to people, is it a, is it a problem for you? Is it, has it been voiced to you by people who you may rent to, if you rent your home? Has any of your guests said, you know, it's getting worse and worse to get to the beach. Yes, no, yes, no. And um, if not, you know, in, and if it's not in the foreseeable future or somewhere in the future, do you, would you, would you be, you know, what would your feeling be about a shuttle to alleviate that problem? I wouldn't offer a shuttle until you have a, a complete uh, response to what is the, a shuttle or a satellite okay satellite parking but you uh, we, we, are, we, we we don't have a site about, we don't we talked about this before and mm -hmm. just concluded that we we didn't have any sites right. that are adequate to do that sort of thing so right. why offer something that you can't provide right. well maybe we should just ask do they perceive you know more there's more difficulty has there been have they have heard complaints from people. Some people may say, yes, they've heard it, but people are happy to pull out their New York Times and sit there. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, in the, we're here to sort of address the future. And we, the, we, all indications are this is a problem that's going to get worse. The, I pull out of the Board of Selectmen for trying to, you know, enough studies have been put on a shelf. Let's take it down and actually do something with it. And we're going with our anecdotal uh, observations and experiences some of our some of the things might there's probably a lot of other people have something to say about it just put it out there and say what's your experience of the summer you know do you some people don't go to the beach that are, that are our residents but um, but the uh, but maybe they have visitors that do and what are their visitors experiencing these days so it is just it's it's Something about perception, you can get at least the, um, the feeling of people that they are seeing this, that they are becoming more aware that there's a problem, um, especially those that have lived here a long time. And at least it gives you something to go on to, to be thinking about the future, like this is something we're gonna have to deal with. If not, it's not crucial now, but five years from now it could be, and we better start thinking about alternatives to take care of this, or else people are just gonna be going home. Maybe when they buy the stickers, you have a two question. I think we're attempting to get um, email addresses on everybody. I'm trying to remember when I buy my sticker. You don't fill out a form at all. You just go up, give them your location, unless you have a lease or something. Do we have them fill out a form? Name, email address, and two questions. You know, do you have problems getting parking? And uh, you know, whatever the questions might be. No, I, I think it's great to put it in the tax bill. I think a it's good a good thing too. to put a piece of paper in the tax bill asking a couple of questions. All right. Well, I guess we just have to decide what those couple of questions are. Exactly. If, well, I, I, yeah. if that's the direction we're going, I'll withdraw my motion. Well, I think we dump this survey and, and pick up a smaller one. Yeah. Yeah. Then I withdraw my motion. And I think next year, 
if we find, after we have more data about the use of the beaches, then might be the time for a more in-depth survey to right. determine we, how we solve the problem. I'd like we to hear from the second. We can't be there in the morning. Joe, you, um, withdraw or not? Withdrawal and then discussion about a proposal I would like to make. Go for it. Thank you. So, that's off the table. Joe? Um, looking over the survey, I have checked three questions and added a fourth. Um, and in the interest of making it brief, thinking that we would increase the number of responses by doing that and, and reaching a, um, a broader population. Um, a quick check off for those who are going to the office to get a sticker that they could be handed while they're being issued the sticker. The first question would be number one. The second question would be number 12, which I think would provide a barometer about the number of times people are frustrated and can't get to a beach. Huh? The third question would be number six. Um, the fourth would be number 15. And the fifth and final one would be a follow-up to number 15. Would you make use of a shuttle if it was available and you cannot get into the beach? Mm -hmm. One page, check off. So that would be a, a, a form of number 14, I guess. A reduced, more succinct 14. I'm sorry. Did you say 14? Oh no, not 14. Uh, what's the one that, there was one question here about the shuttle. Yeah, what, what six. Is that number nine? Six? Nine, number nine is. Number nine, yeah. but you did say six. Six he's gonna use. What, what info is that, I mean? Well, it kind of relates to the, the question of ultimately do we expand the White Crest lot? And I think people are going to want to know who is using it. And along with the other remarks about the variable, variable being erosion and the unpredictability of it and being proactive and anticipating the need of parking in the future. Certainly town meeting I don't think is going to be inclined to vote favorably about that without um, some indication as to the need for it. When Mr. Ryerson talked about LeCount not being filled, not even on some weekends. So if that, that does have, um, that varies from year to year because of the sandbar. And the the, one of the reasons um, you have many younger people at Beachcomber, not only is it a great we have the great beachcomber bar there, but Cahoon Hollow is not doable for a lot of people of you know that have difficulty getting up and down. That's a pretty steep dune, and in White Crest um, is, is yeah, that's what I mean. White Crest is um, so those two. Even when I'm going to get a fire permit, if at night I try to really avoid those two beaches. <laughs> so, uh, and White Crest is the first off the list. If I, I really don't want that one, and as you well know, that's the one that's always available for a fire permit at the end of the day. So it has to do with, with the logistics, of of uh, and the height of where these things are. So you know, you know, it goes down like this. So I think. If you wanted to ask, um, not just off-site, you know, give them these things that we're going to do something at police station or at elementary school on busy days, would you use, would you be amenable to parking your car at White Crest and using a shuttle? And that would give you an indication that people, you know, that maybe it would give you something about White Crest parking lot. Oh. And building on the testimony we heard from Mr. Ryerson, in August, on weekends, with favorable weather, all the beach lots are loaded. Right. So we know that some people probably are being shut out. 
Mm -hmm. if, we, if we agree on that, the shuttle question um, might be valuable in terms of revealing you know, what people would be inclined to do, mm -hmm. either go home and stay home, go to a bay beach, or take the shuttle. Right. Now, is it a, is it a shuttle from ex, an expanded Whitecrest or a shuttle from the it, elementary school let's or something? Just say, just, let's just say Whitecrest for now. I mean. I think that makes perfect sense. Right. I mean. I do too, because um, it's. With the exception. Like, Dennis with, Murphy brought, I mean, I remember it was like, did he, he threw out a number, 1.6 million. I mean, I know that was just a number out of the blue, but do we really know how much it would cost to? The, the 1.8 million was a thousand spaces. Yeah. So how much would it cost to? It depends put, on whether the town DPW does it or you contract it. Yeah, out. Dennis actually said that he would do it. For 50 bucks. No. Yeah. yeah. No, really inexpensively. I, I do, that he's I got the I also remember equipment. Suzanne sitting here saying yeah. that if we increased the parking at Whitecrest, it would pay for itself. Yeah. In a year or two. Yeah. Right. So okay. I don't think I. I that, that's I, what, the, I think the, the grand scheme would be make Whitecrest a little bigger, and when erosion starts to happen, we have a shuttle that goes from LeCounts to Newcombs, LeCounts to Newcombs, mm -hmm. LeCounts to Newcombs. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And we have parking for people when it's full that park at Whitecrest. And that's right. and maybe like we were talking about when we had that first focus group with the lifeguards here, and they were talking about making a much nicer parking lot there yeah. with showers, yeah, with, with showers and, maybe and a snack bathrooms. bar or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Down the road. And, and I agree with that. And, and just one additional thought. Um, <coughs> I question the price um, because the last time around, the DPW director stated to me that he was never asked for a price for the TBW yeah. to do it. Yeah, I think Dennis said that the DPW, and he's, he's got all this crazy equipment that it could be done a lot less expensively. Well, we it, can I? Yeah. All right, can I just can I just say one thing? Even if indications are that it would be good to ex expand, it's not just us that makes that decision. It is right. part of the national seashore. There are endangered species that one must think about. So, if that was indicated that yes, expanding that parking lot is a good idea, that would tell us now to start looking and looking at those permits because it's not going to happen within a year probably by the right. time everybody gets out there. So it is very good information to have to be put in place when it is much more of a problem and is a much more desired answer. And, you know, I, I as a town, would, even if, if it goes to Dennis or anybody else, it's good to go for a bit. <coughs> yeah. So I, well, I think the town owns, I mean, I could be wrong. Everybody says this. We, we own that area. We own 100 acres. Yeah. Some of it's yeah. in a... You know, and, in and a yes, the, and not all of it's suitable, but yeah. we don't really have to ask the seashore's permit. Well, there's has, but there is some, you know, there's endangered yeah. species. Yeah. There's somebody that's going to yeah. be of course, advocating of for course. something. It goes without saying. Do we want to Animal. consider the proposal that I offered or... Can you... Or, can you yeah, I, yeah I, I, I think the... I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, I think we need to decide whether we want to think in terms here. of expanded uh, parking. And, and that's the, the survey would tell us that. And then once you get to that decision, which we don't know, uh, then, then we can decide how we're going to meet that. Mm -hmm. And whether it be one person doing it or another person doing it or where it is. Uh, to do it, yeah. Maybe it, you make number nine, nine one address both in expanding Whitecrest and offsite because it may get to the expanding Whitecrest might not pay for itself. We all think it will, but why, why don't um, you want are you willing to lead another round of this? Yeah, survey? no, I'd be glad to. I just I, I think I want to make sure I have the order correctly that. Joe had suggested. One is one. Uh, Twelve is two. Yes. Nine, six is three. And fifteen is four. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't, why don't we try to put that together and along with the shuttle question after the shuttle that. somewhere. Which one? Yeah. Let's see. There is none. I made it up. Okay. A simple question: Would you take you? Would you use a shuttle? If you had to, if you were shut out of a beach parking area, mm -hmm. would you utilize a shuttle? From, 
from they were. White Crest Lawn. White Crest Lawn, okay. All right. Why don't we uh, decide that and, and look at it again? Right. right. What do you think we have to have this done by to get in the text? Because um, this will be one page easily. So I will. Um, I'll um, just ask at the next meeting, which is Tuesday, that I'll say that the parking task force has requested to do a tax insert ab about um, parking. Are we, we agreed that we want to? Are we agreed that we want a, an insert? Yeah, and how would it be returned? Yeah, I think that's a good start. And I then if we don't knowing that that's not the full population that we're trying to respond yeah. to. Well, if we don't get a good response, then we go to somehow distributing something when they buy the stickers. Well, you know, it's so also the most important response because it's the residents, exactly. uh, yep. the, the taxpayers that you want to, Try to appease accommodate. and yeah. accommodate. Yeah. You know, something to also not lose sight of is as it's January and February and there's no traffic is, you know, I just heard you guys all say, what's the problem? As a select person, the main thing I get complaints about is Ocean View Drive, not just parking but the traffic, bikes, people dropping off, uh, walkers, like that, that becomes a dangerous thing. So in some ways that's, you know, don't lose sight of that as one of the problems too, not just waiting in line or not getting to go to your favorite beach, but that, you know. I think that's anecdotal though. I mean, we, it's the, not the police said it's there's never anecdotal. been an accident up yeah, there. I know, well, and who are you yeah. talking, when you say these are complaints of these people that you're speaking to when you're out and about, or people are actually coming to you and Both. coming to town people, hall? People emailing select board as I'm, as I'm walking around town, friends. Do you have those people. emails that we could look at? No, I don't, no, I mean, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I can search out. for them, but so, so I hear you because you're from the beachcomber and you've got a sh shuttle, so you're not really going out and around to the other beaches. But bikers, a lot of bikers complain that, th that people driving cars and, and dropping people off don't even see them and they just open their doors. You know, and there's a lot of people walking down, and I don't know this, but around, I'll say, I'll start with the beachcomber, but to the north and to the south of it, people drop off and then they're walking down private roads and private beaches and down the dunes to get to far away beaches. And I don't really know where they are. I, I can kind of see them, but you know, that's, that's part of the thing too. And I know that um, Sergeant Spiegel, you know, said it really wasn't a problem, but yet the one time I talked to him, there were two big buses and three cars and a taxi cab dropping people off by Cahoon Hollow and it was really, I mean, I just got out of there. It was total congestion, total total mess. So it's also kind of the reputation that we want to maintain of Wellfleet being, you know, accessible, friendly. And safe. And safe. You know, you know? I, I'm, I'm a regular walker on that road. Yeah. And yeah. Um, there's, I, you know, I've, I've changed my behavior because it's not that I, I mean, it is people are rushing to get to where they want to go because they're on vacation. They want to get to that beach. And there is... But there are bikers, and we're all there at the same time, and it just gets to be not a very pleasant experience. So I change my hours of walking because I can yeah, do that, or have, I can pick another, or I can go someplace else that, to do it. Yeah. Okay. But that's a different, uh, right. that's a whole different ballgame. All right, all right. Okay. enough. Okay. So we're going to Rewrite do this. a shortened survey to try to get in the tax bill. Yes. And are does we it all agree need to be kept want? that size of the bill? Wait, hang on just a second. Okay. Are we all con agreed that we want to go into the tax bill? Yes. Yes. All right. Thank we need you. to make a motion to do that. Um, Mr. <laughs> Chair, yes. um, coupled with that, um, can we see if there's agreement on also doing the one page um, survey when a person is showing up for a beach sticker while it's being processed? Check it off. That's where I was going. Thank Ensure you. Ensure the validity with the numbers. Well, we can do two different populations, so do the analysis of two different populations. So the, so the ones that return with the tax bill and the ones that are filled out at the... Yep, yep. Because I think we're, we're missing a big chunk of the public by, not, by just doing re residence with tax bills. And, and if I just may suggest that if we do ask the question up front and they don't want to participate after they've 
been here for a week or two days or three, um, they may have something else to say and say, you know what, I wish I had done that. And there's always another opportunity for them to come back and give their experience. Yep, well, the Whether beach. good or bad. Doesn't that, no, I don't think we have a huge problem here, but that means people could fill out two and three times, one with the tax bill, one when they go buy three stickers. Oh. I mean, you're not worried about that. No. I, I don't, I think if we say, if you fill this out, you don't have to, we've got, we, we caught you, you're a taxpayer. Yeah, there but could this be is people. voter fraud, but I suspect <laughs> it'd be all right. I don't think it's a big issue. All right. Mr. Well, Chairman, could we entertain a motion for the committee to um, approve this as it did the previous survey? Um, which? The marina parking. Survey. Oh, yes. I thought we had the last time around. Did we? Oh. No, we didn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we approved it last time. Well, to be safe, well, I'll be happy let, to do let, it let, again. Let's finish up with uh, the beef sticker concept here. Uh, so, so we've got our marching orders. We're, Wayne, you'll you'll start trying to put together a shorty survey. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do it. Okay. Short before I leave for my trip on Friday. Okay. So then we've got the. Uh, Joe would like to get approval of the survey that went out to the slip holders. I move that we approve that survey. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, done. What's next? Um, just one thing that I was supposed to do, it sort of relates to this satellite parking. The uh, Dunkin' Donut water, however you want to call it, they are not an option um, at, the, at the moment. The mm -hmm. owner does not have a problem and he doesn't want to create a problem. So, And I don't think it would work just because of the logistics of getting down Route 6. During did, did you speak with the owner? I spoke with one of his partners, yeah. And he just he, said... He said he, like, he doesn't have a problem as... He says he has no complaints from his merchants yet, and until such time as he does, then he'll address it with us, but at the moment. And I, I don't think we want to promote that because that's private. Right, right. now. Right. right. Okay. So the neighbors don't like it, but the merchants, yeah, well, don't, the mm, merchants I, don't care. Okay. The merchants like the traffic because it's more people to buy coffee and things. But. And, let's see. Do we want to have any more outreach? Do, uh, at some point, we need to come to the select board. Uh, Janet, do you have any thoughts on what we ought to be doing there? I just think at some point um, it would be good for a couple of you to just come before the board and say what you're working on and what you're doing. And that's also a good way to get response and ask for the audience to email us or you or guys or something like that. Yeah. Has the request for the kiosk at Whitecrest made its way to the selectmen yet no. through any budgeting? No. Okay. No. Um, I think that's, I thought I saw the beach. The recreation department was reviewed recently or not the preliminary budget yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Okay. Um, okay our agenda next week is very very short might be a good time to okay to come in okay one, one of the reasons I put conclusions to date and that kind of ties into what, what we're talking about is we need some talking points when we go out in public mm -hmm. uh, and I guess I'd, I'd you know maybe before we talk about uh, going to the select board and going to the forum and going to the Chamber of Commerce, what, what are we going to say? This is sort of an idea of what we would say. So what are, what are the points that you all want to make sure get out there? We're, we're surveying people. We're surveying, uh, we want to survey the businesses. We're still working on the survey. Uh, we want to do the uh, marina. Um, and we're still working our way through something that is more residential or whatever, so. The only thing I would maybe delete, I don't think we're gonna do this year, but maybe we are, is the uh, reaching out to the churches because we don't really know if there's enough demand to need use them or how we'd use them without a bus. And, and uh, I guess that was for I'm, more for the I'm employee. I'm a bit conflicted on that because I, I, I'm involved with the congregational church. Right. And I'll just give you the practical answer is that I doubt that the uh, congregational church would want to 
dedicate their parking lot to beach goers. Right. So and how about the there merchant? are too many other users. What about merchant? Same thing. Okay. Same thing. This might be a subject for a future meeting, but someone brought to my attention, after actually looking at it pretty carefully, that the erosion isn't going to be just with the parking lots, that it's going to be with Ocean View Drive. Oh, yeah. And I'm wondering if perhaps while we're looking at parking in terms of looking down the road at the future, that when we consider any change to Lake Crest, that we might also consider how we might address Ocean View Drive as well. This person suggested that it might be possible to route Ocean View behind the parking lot that's currently at White Crest mm. and turn the entire area that's now road into additional parking addressing a long-range problem and possibly a short-range problem. But there's no point spending, you know, the kind of money we're talking about here without looking down the road as well. So I'll throw <clears> that out. Well, I, I would say that that's all park property because uh, yeah. the, the town property is pretty well defined. Strictly the road. It's, no, that, that road actually belongs to the park, I believe. Oh, well, then let them worry. But, well, but the point but, that but, but, the, but, the point I'm making is <laughs> that that whole land behind the current Whitecrest parking lot, except for that very immediate area, hmm. is owned by the park. Right, but but you're making a good point because um, actually it was Dennis Murphy who did say at one of these meet I think it was a forum meeting I had on parking. Um, there used to be an Ocean View Drive in East Ham. <laughs> It's not there anymore. So, you know, time, time and tide. Yep. So, you know, if we go to the uh, Board of Selectmen, uh, this is the sort of stuff I would expect to say uh, that, that we have done or concluded. Uh, the, the, the data, uh, number three, the data on the size of the problem by sites is scarce. Uh, the space leased by the beachcomber has worked well, as as well as the drop off, I should say. I agree. Uh, we support, in principle, the uh, beach administrator's proposal to change the uh, payment methods at Whitecrest. The uh, shuttle service run by the beachcomber uh, seems to work well. Uh, we'd like to see an informational sign on Route 6. I mean, we haven't talked about that much today. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that one. I just think it's changes so fast up there that mm -hmm. by the time you say the lot's open, it might be full again. And if you're saying it's full and there's open spots up there because five people just left and no one got to the sign, that's well, money, I, th money I, think, lost. I think we'd have to uh, do something like what the National Seashore does and have remote uh, act, uh, control of that sign. I think sending somebody to the sign is not a right. A so it'd have to, to be that. a new sign. Yeah, but it, it's pretty fluid up there. Sometimes um, it's too hot to stay on yep. the beach on that. The parking scarcity would help if there was a large municipal parking area somewhere. But there's no feasible or convenient place at present. Parking regulations need to be enforced. Mm -hmm. I don't, think that's a biggie. Don't park at Duck Harbor. Yeah. That's the number one, <laughs> number one ticket area. The, the, Is it? The, By far. Yeah, the based revenue on taken in from parking violations. <laughs> yeah, I did notice. Considerable. Yeah. And I know. The person who was in charge of this whole kiosk operation in York Beach said that one of the real pluses was first turnover, but second, enormous increase in violations and revenue subsequent to that. Only 56% of them got paid, though. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Is that right? That's, that's 56% is something. Yeah, no, hey, I, I, I'm su yeah. surprised how many uh, tickets went out. What other conclusions do we have? I mean, 
in, in thinking it through, I, uh, one point I'd like to make sure we all understand and that the public understands is that we are advisory to the Board of Selectmen, and, but it's the administration that's got to, uh, got to implement anything that's done. So I think people need to understand that. I think also, based on the information that we got from uh, Lara at the chamber, we ought to make, if this is an accurate statement, that there is no plan at this time for paid parking right. downtown or in those areas because that seems to be the, that's going to be the real sticking point if we were to move to paid parking. So. Well, it, I think it might be an option, but it's not. We're definitely not going to have it ready for this year, so it's just something yep. to be considering again for the future. Yeah, but and I they, think people don't need to get right. alarmed. Don't, yeah, they don't have to get all freaked out. Right. Until it's time. Yeah, don't get when there the, in a twist. <laughs> when the select board held a special meeting, a hearing on parking four years ago, which I attended, that was the most prominent outcry from the business community. Well, they were also, I know the objections are of some time ago were always related to, oh, we don't want meters on our, you know, road. Well, that's, you know, we're not talking about that anyway, so. Right. They need to be aware of They're not those but You're saying, Joe, they, they were against paid parking? Joe? Well, you said the outcry, the outcry about that they did not Putting want... Putting meters, it. right, they did not want meters Wait, is it downtown. meters or paid parking? I think it was the meters. Yeah. No, is it, it just the meters focus or was, or it the, the At that time, the town administrator was promoting the possibility of meters downtown so the focus in the response was on meters right i just didn't know whether it, it, it's aesthetic because they didn't want to look at exactly. look at a meter or did they not want to have their customers pay money i think it was the i think it's the aesthetic and those okay, technology has changed so you can you don't have to have meters i wouldn't want meters myself that's why that town administrator is in lanesboro <laughs> Yes, he was ahead of his time, and the technology time was behind him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, the focus on specific sites, those, those are just summaries of where I think we are. Um, Newcomb Hollow, no changes, collect data. Cahoon Hollow, no changes, continue leasing to uh, Beachcomber. Whitecrest, change access controls to credit and debit cards. We're still working on shuttles. Um, there seems, well, to me it seems like the, the primary beneficiary of uh, expansion of Whitecrest parking would be Cahoon Hollow Beach. Uh, LeCount, there's no changes. Again, we need to collect data. Uh, Town Pier, we're collecting data with no changes for this year. Uh, Mayo Beach, we haven't really talked about. Uh, Downtown, we're talking about surveys, but really no changes. Same thing with the town hall parking lots. Um, South Wellfleet, Dale, you wanted to bring something up about South Wellfleet? Yeah, it seems to me that since I think Suzanne is viewing the, the kiosks, uh, parking at Whitecrest, that we might also consider that same thing at the South Wellfleet as well that has a number of advantages as sort of a test because there are only there's only two ways in and one way out so you could make it very clear what the regulations were and since that area is being increasingly used by uber people to the beach if as um, Janet pointed out there's a business there that might bring a great deal of uh, Traffic. traffic and a need for parking. Also, it, it could be a test for how the pier might work because you have multiple uses. You have people going to the post office, people going to the shop and liquor store there, and people using the restaurant across the way. So I think we ought to suggest, perhaps, that that be a, a part of any kiosk plan that Suzanne may be having for Whitecrest and let her be in charge of it because then, A, you're going to reduce your overall cost, I would assume, 
and see how it works. What would you consider making it, like an hour only type of place or two hour only? I think, so. I think you would need to A, if you have a Wellfleet sticker, you don't pay, and then have an hourly fee. The, all of the things that I've read about, in fact, it's from this book called The High Cost of Free Parking, says time limits are, are a mistake, that you simply let people pay for what they will. Um, obviously, you would need some sort of, and this is where I would compare it to the pier, you'd need some consideration for people who might be using the post office for a short amount of time who may not have a beach sticker. Well, there's the six, roughly six or seven spaces that is part of Al's property. Um, the p parking spaces in front of the post office are not the towns. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If yeah, there's I mean, no time limit. There is now a two hour limit, but it's right. not but worth it. If I heard you correctly, with a kiosk, you're suggesting that there be no time limit. They pay for the amount of time that yep. they use. Yes. What would prevent somebody for, from parking there be willing to pay the whole day and then go to the beach? Nothing. They're doing it now for Money. free. So, right, and make the whole day like $40 or something. Yeah. But the other thing you're gonna have conflicting with is the potential for the, the marijuana distribution facility there. Exactly. Yeah, but you know, you're also- Parking in back, I don't know. That's all private. That's the- It's not, that's it's the, not the South Wall Street General Stores property. No, well, some it of it is, is some of it's L's. Yeah. It I don't know what the idle time is. I don't know who owns that. Uh, the, the you also get people, the overflow from the uh, bike path parking mm -hmm. coming there too. Yeah. So let them pay for something at least. But the bike path is beach goers. There are not that many bikers on bike path parking. They're parking, those two are people parking and getting an Uber or. Yeah, it's an overflow situation. Or walking that down comes the into that South Wellesley yeah. lot. Yeah, I mean, I just want to point out you're, you're also putting a tear, I mean, I don't know, but. I suppose if I owned the liquor store or the Blue Willow, I say, "What are you doing? You, you're not, pet, you're not, you're not hitting any business in town with with a with a with a parking fee except for me." So you leave out ten spaces. I mean, well, you know, no, well, I, 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 you're going to reserve those for the liquor those store. Those will be now. the first ones used by someone going so, to the beach. Well, yeah, I mean, well, you do a half hour for free or an hour or something. Sure. Okay, yeah, no, if that works, yeah. That, that's Who's going to monitor that? Do that, that? That'd be perfect. I mean, and also I think we need to remind all businesses, you've got a market of 10,000 people with beach stickers who aren't going to have to pay. If you can't make a living with that kind of uh, a market, then maybe you're doing something wrong. I'm glad I don't own the liquor store. <laughs> that's your attitude. I wish I did. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I'm just saying you're just picking out a business and you're giving them the, the, the This is off. Okay. How, how, would, how would we progress this idea? Okay. What, the, the uh, parking fee? At, the parking kiosk concept. I think you have to see how it works at Whitecrest first before you start expanding the options, but um, I could be wrong. I mean. I think it, we advance it the same way. The only way we have to advance anything Pass it on to the selectmen. Yeah. It, uh, it also might be revealing to hear from the public when we have an open hearing their thoughts about that particular parking area. You know, I, I know the rear of those buildings is needed for, you know, deliveries, so I don't know how much. You know, I, I, I think the, the free parking for you, you, you can get it if you can just say that you're till X amount of time, then that, that certainly makes sense. That, well, I that, think that alleviates my concern for the retail businesses. There. there are other issues. I mean, it slows people down coming into the parking lot, which may be good, but... Uh, yeah. Not to park. That's park. the beauty of the kiosk. Yeah. You park, then you take care of it. That's what's going to be speeding up the yeah, situation at in White Crest. In other words, you find your parking space, right. then you get your ticket. So it doesn't create a line. Okay. It eliminates one. Right. One the they, they don't... I didn't remember, but I don't think there were, I'll have to look at that list again, but I don't think there were any tickets written at South Wellfleet last year. Uh, We've observed the same thing at the chamber booth. And I just want to add that whenever we have 
some information and we're just passing on, you know, what we've gathered for decision makers, it, you know, the forum is...